Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So we have this young man that mows our yard. He mows our neighbor's yard across the street. I don't know how many else, but he mows several of them. And he's done a very good job over the years. The last year or so, not quite as good. So the other day it was a little surprising when the lawn looked beautiful and I actually sent a text. Boy, what a great job. Well, kind of funny, I learned the reason why. The next week a company came by with different, it was a different lawn care company. Well, that's who mowed it so beautifully. We have apparently a new lawn care company. I asked the gentleman, what's up? He goes, well, your guy got busy and I'm kind of doing it for him. We thought it was being subbed out. Turns out later, I think this is our new lawn care company. Um, not, I may, maybe sold it, whatever. We've heard it, no word from anyone. Uh, the neighbors feel a little bit the same way. They're saying, no, I've never heard anything. I don't know what's going on. The reason I tell this story is because sometimes things come up. A change happens. You make a mistake. Let's say you charge a wrong price for a job and it's too low and you get into it for a month or so and go, boy, boy I really messed this up. People say, what do I do now? Well, I don't care if it's this young man that's getting very busy and all of a sudden he can't take care of his existing com customers. The, the lesson would be to talk to us, right? To just communicate with us. Because if you take that risk, I think he'd have been surprised how open we would have been to understand what he's going through. What we don't like, of course, is when you don't hear anything, you're, you're kind of in the dark. Same thing, let's say, in cleaning. Let's say you messed up the price on a job. People often say, what do I do? Well, you know, kind of make sure you got your numbers right. And then risk reaching out and talking to your client. If you're willing to talk to them about what's going on, I'm not saying they'll say, perfect, raise the heck out of my price. But very often, you can come up with um, a compromise. Something where you can work together to get to the goal of taking care of them. <clears throat> and they're still going to be your customer, and they're going to feel good about it the arrangement they have by talking and communicating. It's the same lesson. Problems and mistakes are going to happen. It's how we handle them that's so important. Now, in terms of referring this young man in the future, that's tougher because of how this left a bad taste in our mouth. Same thing over here with cleaning. If you approach it wrong, you may get through the problem without ever facing someone but then you have bad customer relations and you've left that in the wake and that's not a good thing for the future of your company in that area. Something to think about. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.